You're listening to Short Inspirations from Ralph. Insecurity, the bane of many leaders, part two. In this series, we've been talking about the struggles that many leaders can have with deep insecurities. And sometimes these insecurities can be so severe that we sense or feel that our function as leaders is affected in some way or that we are not good or effective leaders. The issues that we are facing to do with insecurity may well have been there in our lives for a long time. It's just that when we become influential and responsible for other people, for followers, then these issues are amplified, as we said, or come to the fore. We are tested by the responsibility of caring for and leading other people. In the last episode, we covered the area of the need for approval and acceptance and wanting everyone to like us. But there are a number of other insecurities that we can have that I want to identify in this series. Richard Black is a New Zealand counsellor, coach and communicator, but also the founder and director of Mind Health. He's written a great book called Centred. Knowing who you are in an off-balanced world. He identifies six areas of insecurity that we can have. In our inner world, there is significance and innocence. In our outer world, there is security and belonging. And when it comes to our influence, there is a thing called agency and progress. And I want to look at these in a bit more detail. The first deep need is that of significance. Significance is the quality of being worthy of attention. Importance. We need to know that we have worth and value. We need to know that we matter. And actually, it's more than just being noticed. It's actually wanting to be honoured and well thought of, and possibly even famous. We want our name to be remembered after we've gone. We want to sense that we live on this planet for a reason, for a very good reason for that matter. And even though we really want to have significance for who we are rather than what we do, we often get that mixed up, so we will strive towards making a name for ourselves, often at the expense of relationships with other people. But the problem here is that there is always another hill to climb. A person is never satisfied with where they're at, and so they keep going, keep going, keep going. Richard Black says they never know when enough is enough, or when good enough is good enough. We see this in all areas of life, But when we see it in church life, when we get church leaders who can be very high achievers and have a strong desire to build something, and they believe, build it for God. But when this subtle thing called striving for significance is there and drives them, then it can result in a man-made edifice that I'm sure God can still work through, but... If it is built on this deep desire for significance, then it can end up crushing people. John Maxwell claims that leadership is servanthood. Observance of this principle keeps our motives pure and protects us from wrong ambition, he says. We should lead people not for ourselves or for the perks, but because we want to add value to people by serving them. You've got to give up to go up. I love what Paul said to the Colossians in chapter 3 verse 23 and 24. He says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters or for self, I'll put in there. Since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. I believe this is the real key in 
dealing with this insecurity of significance. To not only serve your people, but also to realize that your reward is from the hand of God. In this world, yes, but really in the world to come. God bless you.